Overnight, two men known for speaking their minds, talking for the first time since losing their jobs. Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. Carlson posting a video message to his more than 6 million followers. The firebrand anchor did not address his exit, but was critical of TV news. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. Trust me, as someone who's participated. Fox recently settled a defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems for nearly $800 million that alleged the network repeatedly lied about debunked election fraud claims. Private texts and emails from Carlson emerged during the lawsuit, including redacted messages about Fox News executives. The Wall Street Journal reporting, according to people familiar with the matter, that one referred to a female executive by the C-word. Fox has not commented on the reasons for the split. This morning, the New York Times reporting, according to two people with knowledge of the discussions, that top Fox executives learned of the contents of many of the private messages the day before the lawsuit was settled. The Times reporting that, quote, highly offensive and crude remarks in the messages set off a, quote, crisis at the highest level of the company. The Times also reporting it has obtained a video of Carlson discussing his, quote, postmenopausal fans and referring to a woman as yummy. NBC News has not independently verified the journal or Times reporting or seen the video. Carlson's future is uncertain, but he suggests he will take his show somewhere else. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some. Don Lemon spoke for the first time at a star-studded event, Listen. appearing on the red carpet at the annual Time 100 Gala in New York City. What is next for you, Don? I don't know. Sitting on the beach with this gentleman all summer and having a great summer, and I'm going to have the summer of a 12-year-old. The now former CNN host seemingly upbeat alongside longtime partner Tim Malone. Now two high-profile stars breaking their silence just days after major shakeups left their on-air futures up in the air. Carlson hasn't responded to NBC News' attempts to reach him for comments since his firing. And there have been questions over what his firing would mean for the future of Fox, Fox News, particularly prime time. The latest ratings show a nearly 50 percent drop in viewers in his time lot, slot since he left, with just under 2 million people tuning in. That's compared to the more than 12 million people who have now watched that post on Twitter, guys. All right. Thank you, Steph. Thanks, Steph. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.